What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and this week I want to go over my top three games releasing in July, or games that I'm an- anticipating uh, to release in July. So, uh, really quickly, uh, I want to give a couple honorable mentions, also kind of say why I'm excluding some of these games. The first game that I'm excluding, only because it's already come out, is Iron Man VR. So, Marvel's Iron Man VR on the PS4. That game, depending on when you guys are seeing this, you guys may be seeing this the Sunday or the Monday. I mean, the game already came out this past Friday, so I can't include it. I don't have the game. I really want the game. The more I saw of this game, it looks really, really solid. I don't know what the reviews are. I'm recording this uh, quite early just because I'm visiting my family right now, so I had to get some pre-recorded videos. So I don't know how the reviews did for this game. I don't know how this game is overall yet. I'm sure I will when the the game releases, but I want to just say why that game wasn't on here. And then my honorable mention is Paper Mario of the Origami King, which is uh, is really, in my opinion, a really, really cool-looking game. Um, Obviously, for the Nintendo Switch, I love the Switch. I own the Switch. I've had it for a very, very long time. I feel like I just need to say that mainly because uh, these two channels, Podcast Now and Podcast Now Plus, I don't really talk about Nintendo all that much, but I really I like to. I like to cover Nintendo games. I'm sure I'll actually be covering uh, this game when it actually comes out, but it's very, very, uh, it looks, again, very, very cool. Can't wait to actually get my hands on it, but it just misses my list. Okay, so let's go over the top three. Starting at number three is the Crisis Remaster. So, you know, I'm recording this today day that it got leaked what day it was coming out technically they hadn't confirmed it but again by the time you guys are seeing this uh, it'll probably be confirmed July 23rd so it's coming very very soon uh, July 23rd on the PS4 Xbox One and, and on PC this game is going to look absolutely amazing and uh, you know I really I'm a fan of the Crisis games now like I've said in the past I want more than Crisis 1 in fact it's honestly my least looked forward to of these games I'd prefer 2 I'd prefer 3 I'd prefer to play the multiplayer again I adore like I've said multiple times I adore the multiplayer of the crisis game so I really want those with that being said this is the first step to that I'm sure we'll get the rest of them and I just can't wait to experience a game like this again I mean these games honestly or this game specifically uh, 2007 still looks decently good now especially two and three look insanely still good right now especially if it's a uh, you've seen videos maybe of it like running on a high powered PC I mean these games can still look absolutely amazing so really looking forward to getting back and basically getting back in the crisis crisis mode. You know what I mean? Getting back into that world. I want more than just this game, but this game is definitely something uh, that I cannot wait to play. Number two, Destroy All Humans, the remake of Destroy All Humans. I've talked about this game uh, in the past. This game is a huge part, the original, huge part of my childhood. I remember, I love this game. Uh, you know, this I, this wasn't like the very early childhood. I played like Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, like those were some of the games, the Sly Cooper games as I got a little bit older. But Destroy All Humans was definitely one of those games too, and I have just uh, such fond memories you know it, it's a pretty simplistic game it's it's open world and you can do different things but it's not the most filled open world it's more like just go out there have fun destroy literally as much or as many people as you want obviously like the your your rating or how like n- notorious or whatever whatever they call it that that will continue to go up the the army will come get you eventually right there'll be tanks there'll be stuff like that i mean it, it's it's kind of dumb fun i don't real i don't want to be like too extremely uh, mean to it because i do i am to get this game I do want to play this game but you know it's nothing revolutionary it's not going to be like the greatest game of all time it's not the most detailed or you know a game that has the most things in it but at the same time I mean again I think it it, it really resonated with so many people not resonated because we liked doing the you know that deed but you know we all really I think the people who bought it really really enjoyed it uh, back when it first came out and to see it come back and like I've said in the past too I mean you got to think about the future too I mean just because it's a remake they're not doing it just because they feel like it's something that would make people happy. You know what I mean? They're doing it to say, hey, do people still like this franchise? Are people going to buy it? They're going to give us lots of money, and then we can start saying, all right, is it time to make a brand new, from the ground up, Destroy All Humans game? We've seen that happen with Crash. I I think we'll see that with Spyro very, very soon. There's rumors that there's a new Spyro game. So that is definitely why these a lot of these remakes end up happening. So basically, again, just like Crisis, to get back into this Destroy All Humans world, to be able to play it again, to be able to experience my childhood and a lot of people's childhood uh, again, and really to kind of start shaping, like, hey, if we support this enough, if we cover this, if we talk about it, if we buy it, if we give them enough money, again, we expect a good product. We're not just going to give them money. But if we do all these things, we'll end up possibly, I think probably, getting a brand new Destroy 
Humans game in the future. So that's very, very exciting, and I cannot wait, again, to jump back into that uh, that game. And the last one, if you guys know me, if you guys know the channel, this one is not a surprise in the slightest, Ghost of Tsushima. So people have gotten it. People are playing this game. I do not have it. I'm not playing this game yet. Uh, review scores will end up going up next week, right? July 14th is when the review embargo uh, drops for or like lifts so we can see what people are saying. Again, I mean, like the last was part two, it's not going to matter all that much what people are saying. Ultimately, it's, hey, are you going to get the game or are you not? You know, jump in and, and make your own kind of opinion, which is what I'm I'm all about here you know, right, on both these channels. So I'm very, I mean, this game, I'm super excited for it. I wouldn't say, and I have said in the past, I wouldn't say I was ex as excited for it as The Last of Us Part 2, but with The Last of Us moved, I mean, this is the next thing. I mean, this is a massive, massive game. Again, we can talk all about what Sucker Punch has messed up with in the past, but at the same time, they've made some very solid, they've they've had a lot of solid things going their way, okay? The the infamous games, especially Infamous 1 and 2, are fantastic. Second Son, yeah, they, they took a couple steps back, but even in other aspects, they did improve. So, I mean, I am very much looking forward to seeing what they can do with Ghost of Tsushima. Are there things that worry me? Yes. Are there going to be problems with the game, is this game? Yes. Is it going to be a perfect game? No. But this is, you know, this was it. When we were going into 2020, Sony was going to end the PS4 life cycle with The Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima. Two massive, massive games. And, you know, Last of Us did its job. It divided a lot of people, but it definitely did its job of selling insanely well. Now it's Ghost of Tsushima's turn, which, again, it won't sell as well as The Last of Us, but it will do extremely well. I think it'll be a, a pretty high seller. I think it'll get a pretty solid review scores. I think people will overall really, really enjoy this game. So, again, very, very much looking forward to just jumping in and experiencing, honestly, a very different kind of open world game. This is not Witcher. This is not Dragon Age. This isn't Mass Effect. This isn't your JRP. This isn't any Final Fantasy game. Right? This is a very different, more grounded, more realistic kind of focus on this, obviously, the Japan, uh, Japanese samurai, right? So it's going to be really, really cool uh, to be able to play this. I got this game all ready to go uh, for day one, and I'm sure I'm definitely going to be making uh, tons of videos on it uh, You know, as we get closer, and then when obviously uh, when the game comes out. So guys, let me know in the comments below what are some games you're anticipating. I know I still left a couple out, but let me know your list. Let me know if, uh, if Paper Mario is in there, if Iron Man is a good game, or if that was uh, on your list for, uh, for July. Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Have the bell icon turned on, and I make a new video every single day on this channel, and so I hope to see you guys uh, for tomorrow.